Some new laws will go into effect in Louisiana in 2024, and one of those laws could have a big impact on minors in the LGBTQ community. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrea Robinson. KPLC's Morgan Babineau explains what this law means. One of the new laws that takes effect would ban procedures that would change the gender of a transgender child who is under the age of 18. Ninety-three percent are worried about the new bills that are coming out. The bill that was passed in Louisiana was House Bill 648. This will ban hormone blockers, any hormone replacement therapy, surgery, removal of any healthy or undiseased tissue. Technically, that makes circumcision illegal. Sex change operations, hormone treatments, puberty blockers. Doctors wouldn't be allowed to use any of these methods when treating a minor child. If they do, they risk losing their license. Gender affirming care has been supported by the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Psychiatric Association, the Endocrine Society, and other major medical associations. 1.3 million medical providers have been in support of gender affirming care. Earlier this year, Louisiana Family Forum President Gene Mills weighed in on the topic, speaking to our sister station in New Orleans. There's no way a child can give informed consent uh, to make a decision that's going to alter the course of the remainder of their lives. I certainly believe the bill is, is going to be challenged in the court. Governor John Bell Edwards vetoed House Bill 648 only to be overridden by the Republican State House and Senate. Dillard University analyst Robert Collins thinks the bill could end up in Washington because the district courts and other states are debating the issue. And of course, if, if there is disagreement amongst the federal appellate courts, then of course the Supreme Court is usually uh, asked to, to weigh in. Supporters of the bill say that hormone treatment may be harmful or confusing to minors, while opponents say the lack of gender-affirming care may lead to increased levels of mental health issues among youth. I'm friends with several trans people and several LGBTQ people. I'm not gay, but I'm an ally, and that's my job, to be as good an ally as I know how to be and level the playing field as much as possible to make it right for everyone to be able to be here the way we deserve to be here. In Lafayette, Morgan Babineau, 7 News.